One concern that a number of you brought up was how do I balance homeschooling my children while also being a working household? How does this all fit together? So for us, we grew up as um, mom and dad were working in the warehouse, we were doing our schoolwork alongside. We were out in the, somewhere in the warehouse with our books, accomplish our schoolwork. And I think that's what another beauty of our scheduler system is that you can print off a list and hand it to your child and say, here's your school list. Here's your school items. I want you to get the list done by the end of the week. Come to me if you have any questions, concerns, get stuck, whatever. And giving them that ability to take initiative and to become an independent learner really frees you to be the working parent while they are take charge for their schoolwork and only come to you when they have needs. Yes, and that's and that's how we did it growing up. And it's not to say that there can't be some things you choose to do together. Absolutely. Just for the fun of it. I mean, we, we had some books that we did in our nightly read alouds just because they were so much fun, we all wanted to do it together. Yes. And you can do that too. But the bulk of it, once your children are reading independently, can manage a checklist, they can be responsible for their own schedule and just check in with you for questions. The other thought is, if you're saying, but my children are too young to take uh, learning, to take on the responsibility of learning themselves, I need to be there to do the school with them, their preschool age or their kindergarten age, that's not something they can do. That's okay too, they can take their school with them. So whoever is doing your childcare, whether it's your spouse or it's the grandparents or whoever it is that is watching your child while you're doing, while you're at work, can also be taking the initiative to help them with their school list. So again, this is the beauty of the scheduling system. You can print out separate checklists. So you can say, this is your school list for this week for at home that we're gonna work on when I get home from school. We're gonna play the game together, or we're gonna do your reading program together, or we're gonna work through your science curriculum together. But all of this checklist is this, of the stuff I want you to accomplish while I'm at work. So take this to grandma and grandpa's house and they'll help you with your whatever it is, the history lesson, or there will help you with your math lesson, or, or whatever it is, so you can print off a couple checklists for whoever's on kid duty, yeah. help, and that will enable them to say, okay, great, this is what we can work on while they're with me. Right, and there's, again, a couple ways to do that. If somebody, if you know, grandma and grandpa are watching the kids many hours a week, maybe it makes the most sense to give them some of the, the key things, the reading, the math. On the flip side, maybe you say, no, I really want to do that myself. Yeah maybe grandma and grandpa would be so happy to have the STEM kits because it's something to keep your kids Absolutely. productively busy. So again, you can flex it one way or another, whatever works well for, for your family and your situation. Yeah. www.timberdoodle.com